Okay, today I'm going to be remodding a previously botched MacBook lid that I did. Uh, did it some time back, and I just didn't like the way the graphic turns out, so I'm going to do it again. A friend of mine, Jamie Ferrara, printed me up some uh, better graphics. It's my first attempt at a YouTube video, so please be kind. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is remove the bezel here. Um, you make some tools for it and stuff. iPod tool works pretty good. Um, if you have any fingernails at all, you can pretty much get them under there. Smarts a little bit, but you can see that uh, it pops off a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit of sticky on the bottom there, holding that stuff in place. Set that down, then you've got your. Uh, main LCD panel there to pull off. There are 12 screws around the bezel now holding uh, the LCD panel in place. Um, Apple recommends taking them off in a particular order and putting them back on in a particular order. So I'm going to take these off now and we'll be back in a second. You know, one more thing. Um, Apple does recommend like putting a towel over the screen so that if your screwdriver slips you don't tear your screen up. There's two screws at the top here. They don't need to come out those are uh, for the camera, um, but pretty much once you get all the screws out, uh, I already pried this out a little bit, so I'm just now taking this out, but you do have to tug on it a bit, but not much. One thing you want to do, and I learned this the hard way the first time, is be very careful right here. There's a little bit of a magnet, um, and obviously there's you know some up here as well, but this one, um, the I, I did it last time, and a, a friend of mine that did his did the same thing. This magnet fell out. And it's at first, if you don't see it come out, it's not real intuitive where it goes back in. So anyway, um, that one right there, you got to keep an eye on. So anyway, um, this is it here. You've got your apple behind there. I'm going to pull that out in a second. Um, in a nutshell, uh, I've already done mine. I've already cleaned mine, um, but some wet, dry, literally thousand grit, um, thousand grit sandpaper or whatever from. Um, the auto body store or whatever. This is uh, an actual what it will look like when it comes out of here. As you can see, it's it's uh, opaque. It's got some paint on the back. So you pretty much have to sand this down, but you want to get it polished again when you're done. Uh, but that's how it'll look when it comes out, and then this is how it'll look when it's done. Okay, as you can see, <clears throat> apple in there we've got is already clear. Here's my transparency here leave a little bit on the outside so you've got some for the uh, tape to stick to. Obviously don't put it on backwards. Um, you know it's a little bit uh, hit and miss to get it in there just right. Um, I'll send you all Jamie's email so you can uh, send a request to him to print you up uh, one of these graphics. And that's sarcasm. Um, anyway, uh, so there you go. There you've got it in. Um, now you take your uh, your backing uh, diffuser, whatever you want to call it, back. You also want to make sure that you don't know, see the circle in the center there. You don't want any of it covering up. Um, you obviously don't want that showing through. Uh, another thing they recommend there is um, taking a flashlight, coming through, making sure that you know it looks like you want it to look in the end. I think that looks okay. Uh, you can't really see that, but let's see if I can turn that around a little bit so you can see it better. Nah, you can't see it. Anyway, looks good. You'll see it in the end. All right, so anyway, that's that for that. Um, now it's modded. All you have to do is put it back together. Pretty straightforward. And putting it back together is, is uh, oh, look at there. Drop my magnet out. Um, as I said, this magnet tends to sneak out on you when you're not looking. So anyway, just goes right back in there. Putting it back together is pretty straightforward. Just uh, put it in the way you took it out. You got some antenna wires um, for your wireless uh, antenna. And make sure those go around the screen. Make sure you don't want to tear those up. Um, but get it back in there as such. Um, there we go. You want to check. Uh, make sure that everything's in there all right. And sound. All right. And then basically, once uh, you get that in, um, I clean this pretty good before I put the bezel back on. Um, after I put the screws back on. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in and then we'll clean it up really good and uh, put the bezel back on. 
Okay, a couple things um, probably breezed over a little quick. One is um, uh, always take the battery out, obviously, when you're doing something like this. Two, be a little bit careful with the LCD. There's a lot of juice that powers LCDs if you get in there playing around. Um, and three, I probably breezed over the most difficult part of this mod with regard to the uh, sanding that apple down. Um, that's a couple hours by the time you, if you do it right, because if you get it if you get it glossed and polished, um, so it's not all scratched up, it does take a while to get that uh, polished up. Use again, use some good automotive wet dry sandpaper and just a lot of water. Also, too, you'll notice these little clips right here. These are uh, obviously what holds the bezel on. They can break when you're pulling them out. If they break, you can buy them on eBay. You can buy them from Apple. They're relatively cheap. Um, but anyway, that's it. Snap that bezel back on. Pop, pop, pop. And you are done. Let's make it sound easier than it is. And there you have it. One backlit Apple retro logo with the Wii and Yang sign in the background. Anyway, that's my MacBook mod. Thank you for watching.